Uh, hey, yo, what's up gamers? Welcome back to another video. It's me, Gumball to tell. And today I'm going to be talking about food that I'd like to try. Because because if you, if you know me, you know that I am a human and that I eat food. And that I have food that I'd like to try. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be counting down this list. Um, number one. Um... What was number one again? Pumpkin soup. I've always wanted to try pumpkin soup. You see, my mother, apparently she used to make pumpkin soup for me as a baby. But, like, I don't remember that at all. And I'd love to try pumpkin soup. And pumpkin pie, actually. That's the second thing. Pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie, it's, it, it looks to look. Because pumpkin, it's one of my most favorite vegetables ever. And, like, we've been meaning to make pumpkin pie for ages. But, like... We, ju we just haven't. And, like, I've been begging my mom, Mom, please, 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 can we have pumpkin pie? But she's just like, no. Not yet. Mm -mm. And you see, that's that's uh, that's another thing. Because, like, what's it called? I've noticed, like, there's a lot of food that I'd l like. All of my favorite food, right? I can't really have my favorite food because my parents don't like that. Like, we have different tastes in food, right? Because I like, I I love, like, you know, corn candy and pumpkin stuff and marshmallows and jelly and, and that. But my parents, like, they like, they like chips and stuff, you know what I mean? Like, and I, I don't really like chips. Like... Or anything crunchy. I think that it's icky yucky. You know when we have like nachos or tacos or whatever, I'd much prefer just to have the meat and the salad. Because that's like, that's like the delicious. I don't need the chips. I think that they're just icky. Mm -mm. Um, what was I even, wait, what, what? Oh yeah, that's right, food I'd like to try. Sugar cookies. Today I was, I was sitting in fashion class, right? And, you see, I'd already finished my work, as I do in, like, literally all my classes, so I just have free time on my computer, like, throughout the entire school day. And I found this three-ingredient recipe for sugar cookies, and I saw that, and I was just like, oh, wow, I bet that it's going just going to be butter, sugar, and flour. I clicked on the recipe, yep, I was right. It's just butter, sugar, and flour. And I'm going to make sugar cookies someday. And for the icing, it's going to be hot water. Word, 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 H2O with icing sugar. And some pink food coloring with a bit of sprinkles. And that's going to be the icing on top of the sugar cookies. And it's going to be delicious. Do you guys like alien? Do you guys believe in alien? You see, with the humans, right, we always think that, like, aliens are, like, like these super smart beings, right? But what if, like, what if they aren't? Because, you see, the way I see it is that, like, aliens are, like, a different life force. They would be, like, so different that, like, we probably wouldn't even be able to consider them, like, at all. Because, like, like, what if alien planets, what if they're just, like, like planets... But like, it, they're just like little tentacle thingies that just inhabit the entire life. It's, it's strange, really. Because like, can they even like, see, like, what if they're just like so, what if they're so intricate that they don't even need to communicate? What if aliens are just like telepathic, like sentient creatures? You know what I mean? Do you guys ever think about that? I think that I should start a podcast because like something I've noticed is that like throughout the entire course of my life I've just I've always rambled to myself but like short little ramble like I can go from subject to subject but I, I can do it for like a really long time um and that's what I do every night and that's why I don't usually have good sleeps actually no that's a lot I've been having great sleeps actually because you see like what's it called um, I've been waking up to my alarm every single morning at exactly 6.18. Because that's when my alarm is at 6.18. But you, like, I used to, like, you know, like, like, wake up at 5.43. And then I would lay in my bed until four minutes past six, and then I would get up. But now, it's gotten to the point where I'm already asleep, and then my alarm wakes me up at 6.18, and I've been getting up at 6.18, 
and that's annoying me, annoying me, annoying, and, actually, I haven't even really been getting good sleep, actually, well, yes, I have, because you see, my mama makes my bed, and whenever my mom makes my bed, like, she does it, like, really nice and tight, and so I'm able to get, like, a really good night's sleep without moving, um, but, like, my sleeps, the quality of my, like, I wake up feeling rested, but my, it's always scary going to sleep now, because I keep having nightmares, did I tell you about, guys, about that nightmare that I had last night? So, you see, basically what happened was I was, like, home alone at my grandparents' house. And, all like, it was, like, nighttime and, like, storming outside, right? But, like, I had all of the windows open for some reason. And, like, all of the lights were flickering. And some of the lights had blown out. And, like, I was watching television. I was watching Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Except it wasn't, like, any, like, a, it wasn't a normal episode of Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Because, because in the episode... Um, it was, it was kind of messy, like, I didn't really understand it, but, like, Jake and Amy died, like, they both died, and it was, like, really gory, I'm pretty sure it had something to do with the human centipede, um, and, and it was terrifying, and then, like, I kept, like, pacing around the entire house, and, like, I was really scared because, of, because of that, um, and so, yeah, I was pacing around the house, and then I heard, like, knocking, like, a bunch of knocking, and, like, um, it, it's, it's kind of strange, but it's also similar to what I see or hear in real life every day anyways, but, and then, like, um, like, and then, like, I ran to the back of the house, right, and then, like, my mom, she, she gave me a fright, because, like, she was, like, knocking on the door, like, really loudly, and, like, I turned, and I was just like, ah, oh, what are you doing, mom, and she was just like, I brought you Starbucks, and then I was like, oh my god, these Starbucks, and so then, like, we were walking around the side of the house, like, I was in the inside of my, inside of the house, and my mom, she was walking on the outside, holding my drink, um, holding my Starbucks drink, and we were talking through the walls, um, and then I went down to open the gate for her, and, um, I, I, I woke up, and it was, like, 2am, like, in real life, I'm saying, in real life, it was 2am, and I woke up feeling really sad and scared, because I didn't get the Starbucks, and that's another thing. Did I mention this earlier in the video? I feel, but I really, I, I love Starbucks. Um, and I haven't had Starbucks in, like, like two weeks. Um, that's quite a long time. Um, so I'd like to go back to Starbucks, and I'd like to get, like, you know how they have those little, like, because, like, at the local Starbucks that I go to, they have, like, these little, like, like, the, they have, like, waffles and these little cute cupcake thingies. I'd really like to try those. They seem delicious. I'd like to try everything on this topic's menu, actually. Like, just a little tasty strip, like, every single drink. You know what I mean? Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get all this stuff. Hey okay, guys, I also really like bacon and mushroom fettuccine. I love bacon and mushroom fettuccine. I've also been meaning to go back to that pizza place that I really like. My favorite, my favorite is pizza place. And I'm going to get like, that cheeseburger pizza again. It's really yummy. I'm going to tell you guys about it. My hair is full of hairspray. Bye.